A deadline on when Governor Malloy says he needs to have a deal in place with the state labor unions. It comes on the day his office announced 182 state workers have been handed pink slips. Mm -hmm. These are the first of nearly 5,000 people who may lose their jobs if there is no deal. Newsday's chief political correspondent Mark Davis live in our Hartford newsroom tonight with more. Mark. Hi, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford newsroom. The governor said today that the end of this month, May 31st, is when he must have a deal. The governor was at a ceremonial groundbreaking in Groton today at the sub base. While he was out of town, his office released the list of the first layoffs. In the first 48 hours, 182 state employees got the word, including 136 in the Department of Correction, 6 in the Department of Public Works, 7 in Information Technology, 27 in the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. This is not something I want to do, uh, but we have a billion dollars uh, uh, from the budget that uh, potentially needs to be cut, um, and um, uh, I will not raise taxes, period. Malloy is sending a very loud message to the negotiators for the state workers. His state tax plan is firm. He will not change it, even though he knows his plan B will result in higher property taxes at the local level. Absolutely. That's why I don't want to do it. That's why this whole budget was built on a framework that would not require that to happen. Um, but I will not raise state taxes beyond the point the, uh, that, that, that is built into the budget. While sources say retirement age may be part of the labor negotiations, Malloy stresses that his plan fully funds the state employee retirement plan for the first time. I'm the first governor in the state's uh, history to fully fund uh, our pension obligations to the tune of $877 million in the current budget. And for the first time today, Malloy placed a deadline on when he has to have a deal from the unions in 19 days. I have till May 31st, uh, right, to, to give a... Uh, 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 recommendations with with respect to how to lay off the budget uh, to how to excuse me how to eliminate uh, what would otherwise be a deficit if we were fa if we fail to reach an agreement and the word tonight they're still talking live from the Hartford newsroom Mark Davis news 8